Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with Shapeshifters Team 2 leaks. We have some more leaks, and it looks like EA is throwing it back to last year in FIFA 21, where they released both a 99 Messi and now what seems to be coming a 99 rated Cristiano Ronaldo. So they're going all out for the summer promos once again. I want to take a look at the Shapeshifter Team 2 leaks, because there are some very hype cards that are being leaked at this time that are going to come out tomorrow on Friday. I also want to take a look at the current state of what's going on in Shapeshifters. Fodder is extinct. E, I need to update some price ranges. And we have some huge cards coming. SPCs, objectives. There is some incredible content. This is this is just summertime content, right? The SPCs that we are getting, the player picks, all this crazy stuff. That, I mean, the Switch has flipped. It is now summertime on FIFA. Uh, as it is in real life, right? One of four tots. Are sh I I'm behind, right? I've been gone a few days. I got to get some of these player picks done. We'll be doing these today on stream. Uh, and I got to do some player picks as well because these shapeshifters are fire. I want to try to pack some of them. And this content is pretty fire as well. Again, it's just the summertime content where they throw out all the insane SBCs, player picks, and all that good stuff. So I want to take a look at what's going to go down today on the game and also cover those leaks and that's what we're going to do to start off today but if you're enjoying the videos on the channel make sure to hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's start from the top with the big man himself cristiano ronaldo again like i said at the beginning it's just like last year where ea during what was it summer stars released a 99 messi and a 99 ronaldo they don't release 99 rated cards during team of the year or team of the season anymore they just save it for the summer which some people don't really agree with but this one's a position change to left wing for Ronaldo. Um, yeah, this could be a pretty interesting card. Hopefully, he is 5-star, five 5-star. Five That's the hope, right, with the Ronaldo. We, we do have a 5-star, five 5-star five Ronaldo already um, in this game. We've got the Foot Birthday 94 version. That's central. But all those other cards are 5-4. So if we got ourselves a 99-rated Cristiano that is 5-5 five five on the wing, I think they would do it. I, I think they would give him the 5-5. Five five. It'd be pretty kind of dead if it wasn't, to be completely honest. But that's big, right? That's another big-name player getting into Shapeshifters. Honestly, as we look through these cards, it, it just keeps getting better. Team 1 of Shapeshifters was good, but Team 2 is looking cracked, including Mr. Marcelo. Everybody wanted him to get an end of an era SBC, but it looks like EA said, no way, we're just going to drop him as a striker and make his card even more cracked and still make him or keep him at 5-star, five 5-star. Five of course, that foot captain's uh, Marcelo is 5-star, five 5-star, five and everybody was like, if they don't do that on his next card, it's going to be dead. So, I mean, look at that, man. Look at that card. Anywhere on the pitch you can play this guy. I would love to try him out as striker, but, I mean, his lowest, I mean, are these stats predicted? Uh, stats predicted. Okay, so they might not exactly be like this, but this is kind of close to what we would expect with a plus three probably going to happen over his captain's card, which, of course, as you would expect after that leak, had a big time panic sell from 1.2 down to 1 million. Now back up to 1.14. If we can take any ideas of how much these cards are in Shapeshifters Team 1, what would a Marcelo kind of cost? I mean, this so many cards in the Shapeshifters Team 1 are like pretty cheap, right? You've got Kalulu, Spinazola, Abamyang, Davies all around 300k and under. Same with Atal. And then you've got your three big boys at the top, Hazard, Messi, and Son. I feel like your big boys from Shapeshifters team too. Of course, you got the Cristiano Ronaldo. Is it going to be seven million like the Central Messi card is? I doubt it because a left wing Ronaldo might be a little bit less valuable to some people in the game with chemistry links and stuff than a Central one would be. So you know this card might be like three to maybe three mil, something like that. If it's five five, maybe maybe four. Who knows? And then the real question is, what is this Marcelo going to cost? Because that is a crazy crazy card and i mean this might be a three four mil card because he is going to be really really rare and everybody's going to want to get their hands on this item if he has these kind of stats so in my opinion this card might be more hype than ronaldo very expensive for sure but an insane 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 card so there's that now let's move down the list even more uh we'll talk about this sbc in a little bit that's probably going to come in my opinion in the next day maybe today uh we'll talk about sbc content in a bit but another uh, card in Shapeshifters Team 2, El Sharawi. And, uh, you know, we we had an El Sharawi. When was it? Was it like early on in the year? 
What card did we have? Oh, is this one? Yeah, Road to Knockouts Elsha. Four star skills, three star weak foot. So finally, if you're an Italian fan, or especially if this helps out, you're a lot of people are running with the uh, with the Serie A teams with the Italy links at the moment. You know, with the Spinazzola, maybe link it to Chiellini, or you have another guy at left back. This is going to be a great card for your team. He's probably going to be pretty cheap. Like I'm, I'm hoping that Elsha is either five star, four star, or five five. But I would imagine a card like this would be probably around the same price as a Bamiyang, or maybe even cheaper. Uh, you know, El Shirawi might be around 200, 250,000 coins by the time we get into next week when he's out. And that would be a really, really nice card that a lot of people would like to use. Everybody remembers his item from last year. Was it a flashback? He had the flashback 88 SBC that was five star, four star. People love this card. He was so, so, so good. So, you know, if it's anything like that one from last year, this card will be really fun in the game. And uh, but a cheaper option, right? We looked at the first two cards, super expensive. This one will be a lot cheaper. Continuing down the list, Fernando, we'll talk about in a second. And I think this is the last one that we have leaked right now for what's probably going to be a part of the team. Timo Werner, the burner, getting a card. Now people are questioning, or not people, but the the leak here is we we don't know what position this is going to be. But the biggest part about this is a special card for Chelsea is coming back into FIFA. And it's about time, and I'm glad this is happening because Chelsea fans um, have been left in the dark for so long with all that controversy that went on and EA just kind of decided not to release Chelsea cards. But they're back, and that's great. Now, what's the position going to be for Timo? Like, right wing, left wing? I mean, in my opinion, that kind of makes this card a little bit more undervalued, and that would be like the second one so far that's leaked. Ronaldo moving from central to the wing. Timo Werner maybe moving from central as a striker card to the wing still going to be a really good card and Chelsea fans are going to be happy to get a special item for their team and probably going to be pretty meta and, and, and overpowered in the game of course with the stats and, and what is body type is Timo always has good cards in the game but um yeah the positioning on that one's going to be really interesting to see um to see where they go with so those are all the leaked cards that we have at the moment in terms of the players that are going to be in the team and like I said, like there's that's some pretty that's a pretty nice squad. Now, is it as good as team one? We'll have to see when the rest of the team gets dropped. I would imagine that today on uh, Thursday, we would see a loading screen because EA actually threw it back in time. If you guys remember um, last week, I think it was on Thursday of last week, either Wednesday or Thursday of last week, they dropped a loading screen that showed it was Thursday. They showed like, you know, how they used to hint at what cards might be coming on Friday for like the next week of the promo or whatever the next promo is. Um, they did that again last week. They, they haven't done that in a long time and they did it last week. So maybe we get some sort of loading screen today. And just like last week, we didn't know who the Dutch card was. It ended up being St. Juice Day, of course. Um, but we'll have to see what they do today content wise with that. But you I mean, those shapeshifter cards look pretty solid and we'll have, just have to see the rest of the team before we can really decide is this team going to be better than the shapeshifters team one because this team is really good i mean and the content this pack past week has been pretty solid as well although i would say from the other leaks that we have at the moment for the objectives and for the sbcs it seems like this week's content might be a little bit better just a little bit better like there's some really really insane content it is leaked that might be coming out um, as a part of Shapeshifters team too. So yeah, this team is not bad at all. And we'll talk a little bit more about these prices here in a second. But speaking of the content on FIFA, what I want to bounce back to is talk about SBCs. Because right now in this game, EA is dropping that summertime content. And, and right now related to the market, the biggest thing that everybody is noticing is that fodder is exploding. I mean, take a look. We're going to go back in time here a couple of days. The Icon Moments player pick that has now been released with the same requirements three times now, EA. Come on, this time was supposed to be different, but you didn't do it. 900K for an Icon Moments player pick. That is way too much. And you can obviously see by the 4% upvote here, people are not happy with how much this SBC is. It was 700K when it was released. And now look what it is. Now look what it is. 700K when it was released on the weekend. And now it's all the way up to 900,000 coins because of... The other great content that we are getting, which are these SBCs here, 93 plus tots and shapeshifters player pick. That's huge. Basically what this is, is like last week on Wednesday, we had the 94 plus tots player pick, right? And it was released and everybody went crazy. It seems like Wednesdays are the days, at least for the past couple weeks, that they're dropping incredible player pick 
SBC gamble pack. It's still a gamble, right? But it's just fun summer content, like a crazy packer in SBC. So, you know, of course, with SBCs dropping like this, fodder is exploding. 85s are basically extinct at 10,000 coins. A lot of them are at max price. Some have price ranges a little bit higher, I think, but most of them are extinct. David Silva, 11K, basically extinct. Here's what I think about this. You know, you might be like, Nate, keep it, keep it not extinct. So, you know, don't update the price range so that it can stay lower so that maybe we can buy it and snipe and this stuff. And I get that. But realistically, EA need to update some of the price ranges on these cards. And you guys that invest in fodder are like, yes, Nate, it's preach, bro, because you want to see yourself, you know, able to make some more profit on a card like this uh, because it would go up higher than what the price range is. But again, there's no arguing about the issue. Fodder is very, very, very high. And this weekend, just like the normal um, you know, method and the normal time frame has been, there's going to be some packs open this weekend and fodder is going to be a buy probably Friday, probably Saturday. They run the late night lightning rounds. Anytime we get a lot of supply, the SBCs slow down a little bit on the weekend. This fodder is going to be an insane, insane buy on the weekend. But right now what it is, it's an insane sell, right? The, the weekly flip, the weekly fluctuation on these cards, like I mentioned, all these guys are so, so, so up in value, but specifically this mid tier, like the 86 is 16 K. Um, you get, you guys have seen the rise in the past day or two, right? What about Tuesday? How much was Handanovic? 9 K 9 K. And this guy's now extinct at 16 because of a player pick like this, a couple other SBCs, like the urine review player pick. Boom, boom, two SBCs like that. And these cards are extinct at 16k and it's probably going to happen this next week as well so this is again just an early shout that to, to know that we're going to talk about it on the weekend but snatch up your fodder if you're going to do any of these SPCs because uh it's going to be cheaper on the weekend or if you want to invest there'll be opportunities um to make some profit off of that now let's look ahead in time once again and talk about the leaked cards that we have seen here we've seen a couple insane leaked SPCs it really seems like maybe the players in Team 2 are big names, right? Marcelo, Ronaldo, Werner. Maybe some of those position changes are a little bit less desirable, since switching from central to the wing, depending on what their positions are actually going to be. But maybe EA is compensating for a little bit of lack of hype there with some pretty nuts SBC cards. End of an era, Fernandinho, which we just did have a captain's Fernandinho. I'm not forgetting about that. Uh, same thing with Marcelo. So some of the cards that are getting specials besides Al Sharawi and Timo Werner, you know, we've had some recent cards where they've gotten specials and it's just like, okay, small upgrades on those that were already pretty end game, but it is what it is. Fernandinho is nice. End of an era deserved in my opinion. That's a pretty cool card. I don't know when this is going to be dropped. If I had to take a guess, I think this would actually be dropped on the weekend. Kind of like last week, how they dropped the, um, the Chiellini SBC was on the weekend as well. Was it on Saturday or Sunday? I forget when it was. But, um, you know, that incredible SPC was dropped on the weekend. So I think they might wait to do that for Nadinho maybe until the weekend. I think what's more likely maybe for today on Thursday would be either this Rafael Guerrero player pick dual, dual player pick um, or Richarlison. And if I had to guess, I think Richarlison is, is going to be the one that's dropped today. Uh, on Thursday, if there's going to be an SBC for a player, although maybe it's going to be Richarlison, Guerrero, and um, and Fernandinho on the weekend. Those might just be our SBCs we see this weekend for Team 2. But all these cards look really nice. Richarlison, of course, people are going to be hyped about. A lot of Brazilians, right? Marcelo, you got this Richarlison leak, you got the Fernandinho. We have two objective leaks as well uh, for Team 2 of Shapeshifters. Objective Delaney, center back with 90 pace. That's a pretty cracked out card. Sevilla item. Links to Kunde, maybe a replacement for Kunde. Dribbling stats, like that's that's a center back with 90 in every stat except for shooting. Like that looks, that's a pretty crazy card. So don't sleep on this one. Stats I think are predicted of course, but hopefully they do the business on a card like that. And then also here's another Brazilian. This is why I was kind of uh, going into objectives. Emerson, my Tottenham Hotspur boy who may not be with the team for that much longer. We'll see. But from right back to center mid, he's getting the good old a tall position change here. 95 pace, 94 dribble. Stats predicted, of course, so we can't read too much into it. But a Brazilian midfielder, we're getting like three Brazilian midfielders in a very short amount of time. Marcelo, Fernandinho, Emerson. So that's kind of interesting. But uh, that's a pretty dope card. I'm absolutely going to be getting that done for the uh, Spurs on tradable team. But, you know, 
that's kind of cool, right? And I, I like the Richarlison, the link ability with him. People love Richarlison at FIFA for his weak foot. He just, I remember his Tots card from FIFA 20. He just straight finished everything. His, um, what was a showdown card from earlier on in the year. People really, really love that. So if we're getting an SBC today, I think it would be Richarlison. Uh, and then I think, you know, Guerrero could be as today as well, but they dropped Carrasco. Actually, I think they might have dropped Carrasco on Saturday and Chiellini on Sunday. Like I said, I'm a bit behind. I don't exactly remember 100%, but this might be a part of Shapeshifter's team too as well, but we'll have to see. Those are the three SBCs that we have leaked right now, and I think that all of them have a decent amount of hype, so that's a W. But just, again, to wrap it up in general, regardless of whether we get Richarlison today, a loading screen, maybe some lightning rounds as well. I don't know if they ran lightning rounds yesterday. Um, I didn't actually look, but... You know, it's probably going to be a bit of a quieter day today on Thursday. That's what we've noticed is the, pa the past couple of weeks as well. Like last week during um, Ultimate Tots, Thursday was kind of a day where you could catch up, right? And if you wanted to do some objectives, you wanted to finish, finish off some upgrade packs that you were working on or whatever it may be, it seems like EA is giving us time to catch up on Thursdays and also build the hype for the promo that's going to come out on Friday tomorrow. So that's just kind of, I think that's going to be the same vibe for today on Thursday. It's probably going to be a bit of a quieter day, so I wouldn't expect to anything super crazy, but uh, I'm excited to get in some of this content that I have not opened yet. I've still got my shapeshifters pack. I've got to do all the SPCs from earlier on in the week in the store too, so I'm going to open those on stream, like I mentioned, link down below in the description. Now, also, shapeshifters team one, I want to talk about this too because you might be like, yo, Nate, I really want to buy a Jack Grealish for my team. When am I snapping this guy up? And I think in this panic that you saw yesterday, I mean, I'm I'm really, you know, it's summertime and it's the end game. And I'm really not going to tell you guys to wait too long before maybe buying one of these guys for your team if you really want to try them out. If Fernandinho is going to drop this weekend, that would be, you know, um, maybe some, some few, few more links and more people that would want to go out and try out this Jack Grealish. And Grealish hasn't had that many insane specials this year, that many at all, to be fair. So he was like 440 a couple hours ago. And what you saw was a lot of these shapeshifters in general dropped off yesterday after we had the really insane content, that 93 plus player pick. This is kind of what you saw, 280, 283 for Kalulu, all the way down to 239. He's still 239 at the moment. Same thing with Grealish, right? And some of your mini release players, we really like the mini release players. If you're trying to like buy one and hope to make some coins on it, we love the cards that are more rare, and Grealish fits that bill perfectly. He was not in lightning rounds during the weekend. He went from 520 all the way down to 440 or 430, um, and now he's back up at 470. I think that this card at that 440 price was a pretty good buy. I really think that it was because let's see how rare he is. I'm assuming he's pretty rare. Oh my gosh, this guy is so rare. Five pages, six pages, that's a decent amount of overnights. So, But still, six pages right now, at this time of the night on the market, that, that's a pretty rare card. So if I would have been able to get on and get him at 440, I probably would have stacked a couple because even though with a sick team coming, um, we don't have any other like English cards leaked right now or Manchester City items. So we'll see if that changes. But um, I, I think this card could go back up because he is pretty rare. It's Jack Grealish. He's got the five-star skills. So that's not a bad buy. The Robertson's probably not a terrible buy. Again, just remember that we have got an Emerson that is coming in. So I wouldn't expect a huge rise on Robbo. But... Uh, some of you guys that have maybe seen earlier on in the year, like every time Robertson gets a special card, it rises out of packs because people just use him as their left back in Premier League teams, like a lot of casuals do. But this one's uh this one's a CDM, so that I don't know if that's gonna change things or not. But he's 180k. That's a, that's pretty cheap for a Premier League CDM of his caliber. Uh, you know, and the rest of this team, a tall gonna maintain a lot of hype because it's a tall. Davies is cool. And your most expensive cards, you know, I think that Sun, Hazard, and Messi, those guys are probably not going to rise too much out of packs. Just being honest. Hazard, you have to see what it looks like when Marcelo comes out. I don't expect a really big rise on these. If any of them are going to rise out of packs, it's probably like a Kalulu and Aubameyang because of the position change with the links. You know, a tall, those kind of middle tier. Spinazzola most likely could have some Tonali type rises like we saw with the Tots card. At different points so i wouldn't expect to see huge gains on a lot of these cards especially if the content this next week is really really good again you know it's probably just going to be more of the same where and, and i haven't looked at the ultimate tots cards in a minute i want to take a look at their prices but a lot of these cards i think are just they're just kind of staying steady or, or dropping right wow bellingham 852 and cuckoo 429 vinny's under three mil Benzema still 
So, yeah, these cards have, I mean, they might have gone up a little bit from when they went out of packs and when there was a lot of panic, but they really haven't moved too much. That's that's really what I expect with the shapeshifters. So, honestly, if you want to try to make some coins, you might see a few rises, but I wouldn't, like, go all in. Obviously, it's June, the end of June. So, if you want to buy any of these cards for your team to try out, go for it, have at it, and freaking have fun. That's what I would tell you to do right now in this game. All right, last couple of things I want to look at for today's video. Some pack code. If you stuck around for the end, we're going to have a little bit of a, uh, I don't know what you call this, just like a brainstorm discussion. Uh, some weird packs. Now, this is a new FIFA, right? And every single year in FIFA, um, well, what's new to this FIFA this year, I should rephrase. What's new to FIFA this year is EA continues to take steps upward and release more and more of these like crazy packs. Before, like the year in review player pick that we had this past week, that was that would have been unheard of. But like, look at the all these crazy packs that we have now. Supercharged pack. Contains 10 gold rare players, 80 plus, in addition to a player pick between four tots, 95 plus, on a loan. That to me sounds like store pack, 100%. Uh, when they have like those loans in there, usually it's a store pack, but that's pretty crazy. 80 plus times 10 pack, uh, who cares about the tots player pick, to be completely honest, but that's kind of a neat pack. Um, you know, I don't know if that's going to be added into the game. Uh, in the store like on Friday for this weekend for Team 2 of Shapeshifters. I don't know when it's going to be added, but these are in the code now. Also, we have an untradeable campaign mix player pack. So it's like a year in review, but not for SBCs. And it's for like every single dope promo from Winter Wildcards on. So there's a lot of different items in here. Winter Wildcards, Headliners, Team of the Year, Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, Future Stars, Road to the Final, Foot Birthday, Fantasy Foot, Captains, or Tots. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 10 different promos of cards all in one pack. So that's quite the pack. And, you know, we're probably all going to end up packing like Team of the Year, Honorable Mentions, Jonathan David, or Headliners, you know, somebody or other that's not good. But that's a cool pack. I can't lie. And uh, it's got five gold rare players in it too. Now, I don't know if that's in the store, but I will say this. If this pack is in the store, that's going to create a decent amount of panic because that's going to remind me of, remember earlier on this year when they dropped that pack that was in the store during, I think it was during um, Black Friday. No, it wasn't during Black Friday. It was, it was maybe sometime during Team of the Year where they dropped that pack in the store that contained players from other out-of-packs promo teams in it. I forget what pack that was, but if that's a pack that goes in the store, then you're going to have tradable supply coming in for, oh, just kidding, just kidding, hold up, hold up, reread, this says all untradable, just kidding, just kidding, so mute that point, but, um, okay, fine, if it's all untradable, just make it an SBC then, or, you know, whatever, so anyways, regardless, this is just a really crazy pack, all those different promo cards in there, um, that's pretty wild. So hopefully that drops as an SBC and I, I don't have to worry about dropping prices on the market really because it's not a tradable pack. So that's nice to see, I guess. But I wanted to take a look at these two pack codes and just kind of again reinforce the point that it's summertime on FIFA right now. It really is. This is the time of the year where EA put out crazy SBCs. We have crazy amount of fun and somehow I still have 19, 20 million coins and we're just going to keep burning them. And I need to stop trading because the number keeps going up and it's not going down fast enough to make it look like I'm actually spending my coins. But, you know, the num number is going to take a hit because I'm going to have to buy uh, some fodder to do these SBCs. And it's going to get to buy fodder at, at like really insanely high prices today. So if you want to see me burn my coins on a lot of these SBCs, come to the stream today. It's the third time I've linked uh, promo the stream in this video. That's kind of crazy. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.